Hey friends, welcome to the part 8 of Azure DevOps series. Uh, we will import a private Git repository. So this is my CI CD database private repository. I will be importing this in our Azure DevOps project. I'll copy the uh, URL of my private project, uh, paste it in my clone URL. Uh, because it's a private project, it will need authentication. So it uh, will have to check the requires authentication. And for that, we will need a token. Go to your GitHub settings, scroll down, and you will see developer settings. Click developer settings, get a PAT personal access token. So I can go for the fine grained token, or you can go for the classic one. So you click on generate new token. I'll go with the classic one, give it a name. I'll use Azure DevOps as my, it's just a node, it, it, does, it's not a, it doesn't mean much, it's just an identifier. Expiration, I'll set it to seven days and select the scopes. We just need to import the repository, so I'll just check the repository for control of private repositories. And that should do the trick for me. I do not need any of the other uh, permissions. So I will generate the token. It is generated. I'll copy it. I'll go back to my Azure DevOps. And I'll paste it in the password or the path. And the username is my GitHub account username. So whenever you use a private project, you have to check the request authentication. That's what we did. You can change the name and then import on its way. So it is uh, importing the private project right now and it should be there in no time. Import it successfully. If you can click on the link, it will take you to the repository that has been created. And that's it. We have successfully imported a private project. Thank you.